and the obelisk to the Constitution. Dos de Mayo is the day when uh, the people of Madrid are rebelled against the French. To the left now, the Thyssen Bornemitsa Museum, and to the right, mm. this huge okay. building. No, this is the museum, the naval museum, but the building behind these scaffoldings used to be the main post office. Nowadays, it's home of the town hall, the city council offices. We get to the worldwide known Cibeles Square. This mountain dedicated to the goddess of... Also to the right, we are having a glimpse of the Plaza Mayor. The main plaza in the Habsburg era, which is one of the nicest of the Plaza Mayores, Plazas Mayores in Spain. We are having a glimpse here from the arches and also the next sidewalk through the arches will have a glimpse of this beautiful, beautiful Plaza Mayor Square. In this street, well, you see the lights in the streets and those are the Christmas lights that will be lit from 6 the 24th November. So next uh, next Christmas you know what to do. Also we are going to see Puerta del Sol, which is the uh, meeting point for all the Spaniards in the uh, New Year's Eve. Our tradition is to eat one grape with every bell toll. So the most, uh, everybody that is able to, they come to Puerta del Sol, keep on looking at the facades, and uh, get together there and listen the bells tolling from this clock we are going to see in a minute, which is the building of the main government of the region of Madrid. This Puerta del Sol is a meeting point for everybody. There's lots of people you are going to see and it's also the center and the point where all the Spanish, the radial Spanish roads are from, is the zero kilometer in Madrid. So that you start counting from here, I will tell you exactly where from. It's a brick on the ground, on the right side wall. There are monuments and statues all around, Marvilanca to the left, this uh, statue to the left also we will see dedicated to Charles III, of course. They are building up the, the night uh, the Christmas tree. Here in Sol is the largest normally in the city. You see the statue of Charles III already. And behind you will see, a little in front of us, the symbol of the coat of arms in Madrid. The Osho y el Madreño, the Arbuto. As you can see, this is a very commercial area. You see all these people coming and going, shopping already. Everything is open. And if you come here in Christmas, you cannot see any sidewalk. It's filled up with people. It's uh, kind of uh, frightening sometimes. I try not to come, <laughs> but I have to. This is Carrera de San Jerónimo, a very special uh, area. We're going to see the, the facade I like the best in Madrid, right in front of us. It looks like a fairy tale palace, and you can see it. And it's a beautiful facade. And it's uh, very eclectic because uh, you see the tiles from all over the art in Spain. From Castilla, from Extremadura, from uh, France, from, uh, from Catalonia, from uh, Andalusia. The lower camera to the left with two great lions, gorgeous lions. The lions are tame, 
the ones that are not clean are the guys inside. <laughs> Sadly enough. And this, uh, this gate is only open when the king comes inside for any reason whatsoever. And this, uh, to the right, there is a, a tiny sculpture, which is the first sculpture in Spain dedicated to a civilian. Uh, before it was military kings, Somewhere queens, and uh, saints. But this guy was the first one having an statue. It's Miguel de Cervantes again. One of the most luxurious and traditional hotels in Madrid is the Palace Hotel. And we are going to pass yes. to the right also. You remember James Stewart, yes. the actor, yeah. a part of the Reina Sofia Museum. It used to be a hospital for land workers or jornaleros, right here, for, for, for uh, uh, workers, San Carlos yeah. Hospital. It's by McLean. And now it has says, this McLean amazing it, you know, museum. Just, Look at the station uh, inside. There is a uh, wonderful uh, tropical garden. And I invite you to visit one day. And in front of us, the Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, Look at the joint of sculptures on top. They used to be stone, but they were too heavy. And now they are metal. And the stone statues are in several roundabouts in the city. We came down the Prado Promenade, and we are going up the Prado Promenade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's a new uh, electric...